Next, we'll be going over carpentry. This one, of course, is going to be very similar to the previous one. Use the pieces, fill the squares. I am not a great carpenter. But, sorry, in real life, I'm a pretty damn good carpenter. I, I can throw up sawdust with the best of them. In this game, uh, I willingly admit it, if your ship is sinking, find somebody else. Anybody else. If there's a squirrel aboard, maybe give them the hammer. I'm sure there are carpentry masters already screaming at me that I've done something wrong. One of the things we definitely need to do is update some of the art. As you can tell, not a lot of great background going on with this one. Not a lot of uh, game info either. But I got, I got ideas. I got plans. We'll get it figured out. One of the uh, other things I want to do is include some power-up options. So that over here or underneath or somewhere on the board, there will be an option for you to grab like a crowbar and I can pick up any one of these pieces that maybe would make a perfect match on another piece, grab it, pick it up, and put it on another spot. How to do that? Eh, it's more of a coding thing. But it is something I would like to see if we can implement. Fun fact of the day, all these pieces are called pentominos. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Anyways, it means basically it's made out of five little pieces. In Tetris, they even have their own little fun little names. I don't remember all of them, but they're pretty adorable. Fine, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this the bad way. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna play nice with it no more. As you can see, our scoring system is not complete on this one yet either. It will be, eventually, but not quite yet. 